John McAfee eats again. Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and I am here to provide you with some crypto news. I hope you're feeling crypto good today because I do. First of all, I don't remember if I talked about it, but in the past for sure I talked about debit card, basically that McAfee, John McAfee wants to provide to the world so you can spend your cryptos with a very high pseudo anonymity. And actually, I don't remember if I talked about the fact that he even wants to create his own cryptocurrency. So there will certainly be a synergy between those two. Just so you know, he hits again. Do not stop the video because you're going to have a very, very bullish news as the last news of the day. Okay, so let's go for the next news. Remember, there's a browser, a web browser that we keep on talking in my, my past few videos. Well, actually, Brave has another room to fulfill thanks to Google. Who would expect that, right? Well, apparently, Google is about to restrict all ad blockers in the future. They announced it on the 31st of May, and I don't see something more bullish for that Brave browser which is actually natively blocking ads and providing rewards to the surfer and the creators of content. You know the concept? If you want me to make a video about Brave Browser, just let me know in the comments. Of course, I will give you some shot about it. Egypt. So for the next news, actually, Egypt, the country of North Africa, has actually unbanned the cryptocurrencies. Another day, another bullish news. Wait, watch till the end of the video. Do you remember about Anthony Pompliano? I talked about him a few videos ago. Well, he said again something very interesting, which we should actually consider, to be honest, is to buy Dutch Bank. So apparently it's, the bank is not in a very good health since the past few years. The fact is, Having such an asset, using actually our crypto asset to buy it, would be a huge move into the banking system. And we could make a huge bank actually accepting and dealing with all cryptocurrencies legally. And with the power of such a bank, it would be huge. And it would actually relaunch the health of the bank. So that would be a very, very, very smart move. And that would be for the price of $40 billion, which is not that crazy when we consider the market cap of Bitcoin right now, which is growing almost every day. So yeah, let's think about it. Localbitcoins.com. In less than a year, the website completely changed. That was local market exchange for many countries. You would just log into the website, find a seller for a crypto and then just submit him to sell or buy uh, cryptos. Well, since the last year, uh, we had the KYC added on the website, which is not that really good, not that really bullish, but they had to be legal. And they actually removed the face-to-face -face purchase in the past few days, so not bullish as well. But of course, the community is reacting and it's going to push even more the adoption of real decentralized exchanges. So for me, it's bullish. Oh, and before the next news, I wanted to show you a short clip I took yesterday because it's not the first time I pass in front of it and every time I love to see it, so. Yeah, wherever I go, it never fades up. A Bitcoin ATM. Wow, so cool. Yeah, it exists. And there are a few around. There was a very huge move that happened on one crypto, particularly on Sunday, which was about Code Token, again, crypto.com project, which since actually a while I'm talking about. And again, everything they do is for me pretty bullish. They keep on having new coins added. So it's almost one coin, one different crypto a day. So. I don't really give you news about that, but they unveiled a very interesting news. And that news is about the fact that 
right now, from now on, is that they provide a 20%, 20% cash back if you use their token to purchase anything. What does it mean? It means basically, if you use CRO token, C-R-O token, that you have 20% reduction on your purchase. Imagine, uh, let's say you buy a car for $10,000 and you have $2,000 cash back in your account. I mean, really dig into their projects, really interesting. They have the MCO token as well. I'm not here to promote it and I'm not sponsored by them for sure. If it was the case, I would be happy, that's not the case. And I have no views, so for now. Okay, for this news, it's pretty cold. It's in Prague. It's about 9% of ash rate. It's called Slush Pool, for those who know that pool. So it's a mining pool, crypto mining pool, actually Bitcoin mining pool. And they're about to rebrand their name. So apparently they, they plan to be more active on the scene. Mm, I don't have the new name though, but for those who doesn't know what is a rebranding, most of the time is a change name and sometimes marketing strategy. So we'll see. When I have the name, I'll give it to you. And in the meantime, let's go for the next news. And this is about XRP and Ripple, which are going to possibly be in trouble because a challenger just popped up and has been funded at around $63 million. And that challenger is actually launched by a few big bang so ripple fasten your seatbelt and for the xrp token we'll see in the next few months that's not super good for them that's not really bullish i want to say it's bearish and apparently the token and that startup they're going to be active from 2020 and their plan is to have actually bank accounts in all the bank partnering and there are apparently some US, Japanese banks and might have UBS, not sure about that. So take it carefully as a news. Yeah, Ripple, take care. Is it the beginning of the end? Anyway, it's still for me centralized. You know what I mean? It's a startup, I only want to manage it. The token will be called USC and the funny or not, thing about it is actually USC was already used but that crypto is with a very low market cap so it's, it's sad but for sure it's lower than 63 million so there you go ah did you notice I didn't talk about Wales today but as usual 46 million dollars have moved and it's moving to cryptocurrencies exchange Apparently, there have been 25% of stacked cryptos during 2018, and right now it's actually a hundred percent gain. So, again, fast on your seatbelt, you know, I warned you already. Do you smell that? I think it's chicken with mashed potatoes coming from France, Switzerland, US yeah I know I have a good nose so what is about that news? Nestle, McCormick, Unilever, Carrefour will it tell you something? well this news is about a proof that blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies are really good for the future and with that example we have Carrefour, which is the French retail brand, right, has proven and enlightened that the fact that they're now tracking a few products thanks to blockchain technology, people are buying more of those products. They saw a raise in sales and they even been able to compare the sales between a non tracked and a tracked product. In the case of chicken, for example, or pomelo, or that kind of stuff. Yeah, so of course it's bullish. Yeah, just to give you a reminder about what's happening in the food industry. Well, we have brands like Nestle, Carrefour, Tyson Food, Toll Food, McCormick, McLean, Unilever, etc. But they're all partnering with IBM technology of tracking food and 
That technology is actually called food trust. Yeah, just keep an eye on those things because as I said in my blockchain video, which I'm certainly going to translate in English pretty soon because it's it's really a nice video I'm trying to give some hints and the potential of blockchain technology. I'll let you know very soon when I'm going to translate those interesting videos because I think everybody needs to have a, a proper view in the mid long term about that technology, right? And before for me the real bullish news, I just wanted you to keep an eye on that like button and if you missed it, just click on it just to be sure that you really like what I'm doing. And as well, subscribe because if it's the first time you're coming on my videos, there's so much more coming and you still have a few to watch that I've done before. So go ahead. And oh yeah, don't hesitate to comment and share. And if you're really motivated, when you click on the subscribe button, you have the tiny bell, just click on it and you'll receive a notification with my pretty face on that email address you're using for your YouTube account. Yeah, thanks. So what is that very bullish news for me? Well, there's some rumors about the fact that there's potentially a billionaire or a few billionaires who is looking for buying 25% of all the Bitcoins on the market. Either it's third, but if it's not, it will raise the value of Bitcoin crazily. And we already expect that due to the halving next year. And we had the first step into that movement, bullish movement, in the past few weeks, right? As I told you before, fasten your seatbelt because it's not because we have more and more coming in that we don't have people who just want to make a bit of money out of it, right? Traders and stuff are trying to short everything and holders are just longing everything, right? So just to give you a hint, so you can understand what would happen if it was coming in. Maybe it's already currently happening. We don't know, there's so much over the counter market that we have, we are not aware of. Think about 25%, it translates to more than 4 million Bitcoins. 4 million Bitcoins. Right now, it translates to around 40 billion dollars. I mean, close to 40 billion dollars. It's moving a lot, especially today. At the moment, I'm making that video. I just saw it. That's certainly the win move that I announced before. Who is selling? Who are selling? Just to get some cashback, right? So, 38 billion coming in just in Bitcoin. There are many ways to compute it, and basically, yeah, you can consider that 25% Bitcoin purchased um, and blocked would end into something that's very, very bullish, and we're not. We cannot expect 25% only out of that. I mean, of rates. It will be more because it will scarce Bitcoin because there will be less on the market. So less to trade, less to trade, increase of value, etc. etc. So whatever happens, whatever the time it's going to take, if it really happens, it's going to be a huge, 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 huge thing for Bitcoin, especially. And we all know that when there's move for Bitcoin, there's move for the whole market. So there you go. You have your very, very bullish news today. As usual, if you like, hit the like button, share, subscribe. And until the next video, stay crypto curious and see you next time. Allez, ciao.